Good evening, last video of the night. I just finished a series for obviously the 12 uh, zodiac signs as we know them. But for some reason I wanted to do a last video, I thought of doing collective and then I thought, well, this week we have a Friday the 13th. Um, and so it made me think of a few kiss, <laughs> the 13th sign of the zodiac. Um, which is quite debatable, of course, and which I don't necessarily, um, I don't use at all, and I don't uh, consider, at least in my astrological practice. But I just thought it was funny. So instead of naming this um, a collective, this is a message for the serpent bearer of Fucus. <laughs> so we're still doing the blunt message series. So. Let's see what comes out. Uh, I am starting with Kipper, only uprights in this deck, three cards. So let's see what uh, the message is. For those who believe, oh, what am I doing? Sorry, put the deck down for nothing. Message of concern, expectation, and family room. Okay. So maybe some of you do uh, consider the consider themselves a, a fucus, right? So a mix of both Scorpio and Sag. So <laughs> anyways. Okay, so I think you're anticipating uh, to hear, um, I don't know if it's necessarily um, about your home or at least a particular room in your home. So there's one specific, I would say, like the main living quarters, of course. Uh, something is very precise here about uh, just, you know, not just where you live in general, like one specific room um, in your house. And you kind of know about this. There's something that resonates necessarily. Um, if I'm telling you there's one specific room, one of them comes up. It doesn't have to be the main, uh, the family room, as we call. It could be any particular room in your house that you feel is significant. For which you are concerned about whether you receive a message, really, like a true message, or that for you it just means that um, I'm communicating to you that you need to be concerned about. But you kind of expect that. You already know it. Um, that's why I think you know what the room is and I think you know what the concern is, <laughs> basically. So let's see what the other section of this um, reading I'm doing tells us. I'm starting with an overarching energy with my Triad Oracle deck. The keywords are in French, but it doesn't matter. Of course not, I will translate. There's one card that fell, it didn't turn. I'm gonna take it. <laughs> message. Okay, this is really powerful. What is this message? Okay, so let's go to the tarot and find out what's going on. <laughs> That's so incredible that both um, Oracle uh, decks would say the same thing. That's really funny, it made me laugh. <laughs> okay. The Four of Pentacles, the Five of Cups, ooh la la, and the Two of Swords. Okay. So, okay, I feel I'm going to tell you as I see it. You know, the Two of Swords has her arms, obviously she's holding the Two Swords, but the gesture is the same almost as the Four of Pentacles. Both characters are protecting their heart, they're protecting their chest, they're keeping something close to their chest, um, they really don't want something to be seen, to be known. Um, it's not about having something to hide, it's about protecting yourself. And so you're very guarded. You need to close down on something. 
cover it up like not cover up like again it's i'm using the words as in you need to put something on it so that um how can i explain this i want to be very clear i don't want you to understand that it's covering up as if you're covering up something that you don't want to reveal you know because you did something bad, like for instance, you know, like the covering up, um, when you use that saying, usually it implies something else, but it's not what I mean at all. Like literally put a lid on something, put a sheet on something, put a, a piece of tape on it, whatever it is, right? In between is the concern that we were picking up on the on the kipper. So something is very disappointing. It's also you want to keep your head down. You want to make sure that um, and again the the character is cloaked. So it, it's all about um, wanting to cover something literally. Uh, I do have the words cover and hide, okay? And I just want to make sure that you understand that it's not like you're doing something <laughs> that you shouldn't be doing. Um, this is really about, I don't know, keeping to yourself, uh, making sure your privacy is being respected. You know, this is an energy of... Uh, Creating boundaries, you know, this is all boundaries. Just a gesture is, speaks volume, volumes. I'm looking at the Five of Cups. And I think I will draw, for you, I didn't draw for any other sign an extra card on the tarot, but I think I will for you. <laughs> Since you're like the oddball here, you know, the 13th sign that doesn't really exist or that people don't all think exists. <laughs> but before I draw the card, let me just um, pause a second. I don't know, I was trying to feel out if I could pick up on the concern and why you're so disappointed, but I think I really need to draw the card to to see and be able to, and it turned. <laughs> Eight of Wands in reverse. Again, the message, so blocking a message, blocking, it's really interesting because now I just got something else. It's like not that you would want to output a message on purpose. This is almost like you're doing it. What's d done on purpose is to try to block the message, cover it up, like make sure that it doesn't get seen. Whatever you do in private um, should be yours, right? So you're basically going to block you know, all these cards are about creating blocks here, big time. Blocks and communication. So the communication is, uh, for some reason, it's either, it could be obviously verbal, written, but I think it's also visual, which is really important. It's visual because... You don't want people to see the blindfold is here. The cloak is here to hide. It's all about what you see. It's not even about what you hear anymore. This is about what you see. But the Eight of Wands is about the blocking and it's re, how do you say, reiterating that it's all about, so the message. And it's a particular thing that you do 
in your house, in a particular room, there's something that you do where there are messages, there are visual messages, and that is what you're trying to protect here. This is what you need to make sure that doesn't get accessed. It's not for the public. It is your own. And you're very, very sad about the fact that um, you actually almost have to like be so guarded and so defensive and blocking everything because it's very stifling, it's very limiting. But that's what needs to be done here. So there you have it. Um, obviously, it's hard to ask you to like the video. It might not be uh, making any sense uh, to you to like the message, uh, the content of the message. <laughs> As these cards were pointing at, um, you know, whether it's uh, verbal, uh, written or visual. But anyway, if you do want to encourage me, you can do, uh, you can do, uh, you can do, <laughs> I can't even speak. You can share, uh, you can like, and you can subscribe. So you can do it. <laughs> That's what I was trying to say. <laughs> so good night. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate you. Good night. Again, I can't, I'm, it, whatever. <laughs>